There are so many great things in the ocean Fish and starfish and emonies Kelp and seals and corals and urchins All these creatures live in the sea Johnny, Johnny Ocean Johnny, Johnny Ocean I took a walk down to the shore and Johnny Ocean talked to me. Hi, I'm Johnny Ocean. More than 70% of the surface of our planet is covered by water. The world of the ocean is as fascinating as it is beautiful. It is an honor for me to be here today with you for this episode. And now, let's explore this underwater world together. Today, we are going to learn about the mating and reproduction of the northern elephant seal. This is the northern elephant seal. It is the second largest seal in the world. Sometimes called sea elephants, they have a proud name. The males have a large nose called a trunk that, in some ways, resembles the trunk of an elephant. The males, which are called bulls, can grow larger than 13 feet in length and can weigh up to 4,500 pounds. That is about the same weight as a small sport utility vehicle or SUV. The females are smaller than the males. They're called cows. They grow up to 10 feet in length and can weigh up to 1,500 pounds. That is about the same weight as three motorcycles or three road bikes. Here are the skulls of a male on the left and a female on the right. Let's take a closer look. Look at their sharp teeth. Here we are aboard the Princess Monterey. This is the captain, Leon, and his crew. Hi, Leon. Hi, Johnny. Hi, guys. Hi, Johnny. Here in the North Pacific, they are found in a wide range of habitat from Baja, California, all the way to the Gulf of Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. This is Año Nuevo Island, near Pescadero, California. It is the site of an abandoned historical lighthouse. This is where the northern elephant seal migrates each year to breed and to give birth. Every year, the breeding season here begins in December. Males and females will mate, and pregnant females from the previous year after a pregnancy of 11 months, we'll give birth. Johnny! What's up? We have a question. Yes? Can an elephant seal roar like an elephant roars in the forest? This is the roar of an alpha bull elephant seal. Here, he uses his roar to establish dominance over his harem of females. How's that for a roar? And here, he chases some other competing males away. Males fight with one another to establish a territory on the beach. Once they have established a territory, this attracts females to them. Here we see two males fighting to establish dominance. The stakes are high. Once the bull fights his way to the top, the male who wins will have the mating rights to the entire harem of females. Wait a minute. Now it's your turn. Why don't we see trunks on these two males? Is it because they are still young or because often males don't have trunks? The answer is these two fighting males we saw do have trunks, but they are young and their trunks are still very small. Here, we see their trunks. The trunks on the males grow from birth over a period of several years. The trunks play a role in fighting, and they may also play a role in attracting females. Here, a male aggressively pursues a female onto the beach. However, she is not receptive to his efforts. 
and so he is eventually forced to give up the chase. Here, another male tries to mate with the female. They enter into a long struggle as he tries again and again, and as she rejects his efforts again and again. Eventually, you'll see that she will get away. This is a large population of elephant seals with over a hundred individuals. Here, a bull elephant seal approaches a female and successfully begins to mate with her. This upsets a local bull who starts to raise his hood and approach them. The bull who mated backs off as soon as he can as he is chased away. At the same time, this sparks a conflict between two other bulls over who controls which territory, and they start to raise their trunks, and one backs away. A female is caught in the midst of this, and one of the competing bulls tries to mate with her. She runs away. Here, together with their mothers, we see the results of this mating. After 11 months of pregnancy, these females have given birth to pups. Johnny! What's up? We have a question. Yes? After an elephant seal is born, how long does it stay with its mother? The pups normally nurse for a short period of only four weeks. When the pup is first born, the newborn and its mother will make vocalizations to one another. In other words, they will communicate calling to one another back and forth so that each one memorizes the other one's voice. If they ever become separated from each other, one gets lost, they will need to call to each other to find one another again. They put on a lot of weight while they nurse, about 10 pounds a day. The mother's milk is thick with nutrients and fat. <coughs> After their mother leaves for the ocean, the pups stay behind on the beach, going into the water here and there, learning to swim and to hunt. Fish, squid, and some small sharks will soon become part of their diet. This is the elephant seal's coat of fur. At about the time the mother leaves the pup alone, the pup's black coat sheds and a silvery gray coat replaces it. In time, that coat will turn silvery brown, which is the color you see here. Now it's your turn. The nursing pups gain 10 pounds a day while nursing. Do they need this fat in the ocean or just on the beach? If you said in the ocean, you're right. It is very important for the pups to gain fat while nursing. Under its coat, the elephant seal has a thick layer of blubber, which keeps it warm in the cold ocean. They must build up fat for blubber before they go to the ocean. When these pups go to the ocean, they will stay at sea until returning to haul out on the beach for the molting season, or in other words, for their coat to change in May and in June. Then they will return to the sea. They will come back again to haul out in the fall with the rest of the adult group getting ready for the mating season. Even if they don't mate, they will still haul out with the rest of the elephant seals. It is part of their social learning as they slowly grow and develop into fully mature adults. This is Johnny Ocean. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about the mating and reproduction of the northern elephant seal. And I hope to see you back again for our next episode. Seals and corals and urchins, all these creatures live in the sea. Johnny, Johnny Ocean, Johnny, Johnny Ocean.
Johnny Ocean, Johnny, Johnny Ocean. I took a walk down to the shore, and Johnny Ocean talked to 